So we are asked to solve for x, given the picture. What we see, two similar right triangles. It is easy to verify that they are similar because they have the equal angle that is the right angle and they literally share these angles. If two triangles have the same two angles, that forces the third one to be the same and therefore they are similar. Not only are, are they similar, but they're kind of aligned nicely. The corresponding sides are <coughs> rotated in the same way, so to speak. So it's not all jumbled. So we're going to have to write a ratio problem that involves x and then solve it for x. The typical mistake that I see is people using x alone, but if you notice, x alone is not a side of any triangle. Whenever I write these ratio problems, I try to put whatever I want to solve for, I try to put that in the numerator, so I don't have to dig it out from the denominator. So let's do that. X is in the horizontal side of the big triangle. So we're going to say horizontal divided by vertical. This ratio in the smaller triangle is T over H. So far so good. And in the bigger triangle, it's X plus T over R. And now the geometry problem is over. We just have this formula that we need to solve for X. What happened to x? Someone added t and then there was a division by r. We're going to reverse those in, in the reverse order. We're going to multiply both sides by r first. Then we get r times t over h is x plus t. And now we're going to subtract t. So we get that x is r t over h minus t. And if this is not in the form that we like, we can bring stuff to the common denominator. And then it's RT minus HT over H. Or, and I think after this we're done, T times R minus H over H. Either of these three forms are perfectly fine final answers. So this problem is similar to the previous one with a little bit of extra complication. What is the complication? So if we have to solve for X, then we're going to use the the same sort of ratios as we did before, but x is the hypotenuse of the big one and r is the hypotenuse of the small one. So far, so good. So we can say hypotenuse in the big one divided by hypotenuse in the small one. But then in the big triangle, the horizontal side is given. In the small triangle, the vertical side is given. That's not good. But we can solve for either one in terms of the rest of the variables just via the Pythagorean theorem. So if we say this was the hypotenuse in the big one divided by the hypotenuse in the small one, so let's go horizontal. So the horizontal in the big one is t, and the horizontal in the small one, well, let's just for a split second, let's just call it y. And then the Pythagorean theorem uh, stated to this triangle is h squared plus y squared equals r squared which gives us that y is r squared minus h squared. Of course, in case of a distance, the negative one is thrown out. So now we have the ratio problem. And again, we just have to solve for x. Well, that's not going to be difficult. x is, we just multiply both sides by r, and we're going to get x is rt divided by square root of r squared minus h squared. Thank you for watching.